A multiple effective operator consists of multiple single effective operators arranged in series. The feed arrangement can either be backward fed or forward fed. In the diagram shown, we have got a forward fed operation and we can see that there are three lots of single effective operators connected in series. So we would call this a multiple effective operator or more specifically, a triple effective operator since there are three single effective operators. The system works very similar to a single effective operator. Hot steam is passed through metal tubes within the evaporator and leaves as condensate. The cold feed solution is pumped into the first evaporator and makes contact with the hot metal tubes, which heats the solution and causes some of it to vaporize. In a standard single effective operator, these vapors that are produced would normally be discarded. However, in a multiple effective operator, the hot vapors from the first effect are passed to the steam chest of the next effect in line, which in this case is evaporator 2. The concentrated product solution in evaporator 1 is also fed into evaporator 2. These hot vapors from the first evaporator are passed through the metal tubes in evaporator 2, which acts as a heating element to heat the solution in evaporator 2, rather than having to add steam to heat the solution. As a result, this makes the overall process a lot more energy efficient, as the vapors produced are being recycled and less steam is being used overall. As the solution in evaporator 2 gets heated, some of the solvent in the solution vaporizes to form more vapor, which is then passed on to the next evaporator, in this case, evaporator 3. And as you can see, the whole process repeats itself. Condensate leaves the second evaporator as the hot vapors in the metal tubes condenses and the concentrated product from evaporator 2 is used as the feed solution in evaporator 3, which then heats up and vaporizes to form more vapor and condensate is also formed as the hot vapor condenses through the metal tubes. The final concentrated product from the final effect is then passed out of the evaporator. In a backward fed operation, the process works in the same way, however, this time the feed is fed to the last effect rather than the first effect. Backward fed operations typically result in better economy than forward fed operations.